clean. Alloy wheels. Silver paint looks to be factory, which held up so much better than the white paint. Doors are locked. Windows are tinted dark. Some lettering's been removed here. Midwest Automotive Designs. Backup camera. Bumper is painted, so that's not ideal. Got a backup depth finder here. Spare tire's never been run on the road. Extremely dry rot though. Probably not worth putting on. Yeah, it's even bulging over here. A little bit of typical rust. That's really, that's just on the bumper. Well, now there's a little bit past the bumper here. This is just on the bumper out here. Looks like we do have the factory undercoating, as one would expect on a van of this quality. Okay, underneath we've got some unusual supports for the running board. Sorry. Same on the other side. Rear air conditioner is underneath the van. That's oh. awesome. I'll go ahead and go inside, you guys. Seat supports. Muffler, catalytic converter, and look in great shape. Transmission is relatively clean, dry. No evidence of any leaks anywhere from here. Little paper stuck on the fuel tank still. Typical water problem there. Not near as bad as usual. Very clean under the uh, step well here. I notice it is missing one plug. Hmm. Something weird with the floor there. It's built up. Yeah, it's built up quite a bit. It's a JVC flat screen, not to be confused with a modern thin screen. That is a CRT, old school. Original dash stereo with CD player. Can't say I've ever seen one of these, that is sharp. We do have a bacon button. The knob works. 
shift knob's not looking as happy here as it did in the pictures. Minor detail. Got some cracking and crazing on here too. Only thing surprising about it is that it's not worse than this for a vehicle of this age. Radio code card is missing. Lumbar supports on the seats. A little bit of wear on the front edge here. This one too. Hundred and ten volt, hundred and twenty volt inverter on board. AV selector inputs one, two, and three to these audio outputs. Twelve volt. Window blinds. Interesting. Removable shoulder restraints. Not sure why you would want to do that. Here we go. Remote control to the TV. Face plate to the radio. Yeah, big one. Appears to be satellite. There, there it is, Sirius XM radio enabled. Interesting. Got a little bit of wear on the corner here. Something twisty happening with the seat belt down here. That's not right. Looks like that could be re untangled and put back. Again, seat belts twisted, not a big deal. More Jensen speakers, air conditioning. Unusual headliner and lighting. Closer look at that footwell from underneath. Solid. Well, I won't say I'm disappointed. This is going to be a lot cleaner under here. It's not looking horrible. The 
do have some boost leak going on down there on that intercooler hose. Uh, looks like we got another leak there. Not quite sure what that is yet. Original Garrett Turbo. Rear heater plumbing. Rear air conditioner plumbing. That doesn't quite look right. Just lay in there, ready to short out against anything. Zip ties aren't quite factory. Fuel filter looks new. Generally pretty clean. Could be cleaner around the oil cap. Our steering fluid is red. Ooh, it stinks. Motor oil is a little over full. Well, it's not been circulating, so probably not over full. But it sure is black. Yeah, let's see what she sounds like. Oops. Blankets in place, a little moldy. looks okay not too rusty no rust at all on the windshield whoops I spoke too soon tiny bit of rust rust under the windshield and back in that corner where it gets a lot of moisture and debris can't quite see it in this lighting but it's rusty in there corner too you can see it a little bit better kind of rusty in there not uncommon not much you can do about it either Front plate holder has never had a front license plate on it. Something going on there that's not normal. Yeah, that doesn't look right. And what's going on here? assume this used to connect to here well that really doesn't make sense does it oh the lights are missing there should be a light attached in here that would hook to this wire and one over there that would hook to this wire I think somebody stole them. Uh, the fiberglass where they would mount up here on top is broken on both sides. Somebody stole the damn lights. But they didn't steal the catalytic converter. We do have a little leak there. What is that? Right here. Good and sticky and black. Here too, super sticky, super black. Tripping down onto here. 
It's on a coolant hose, but it's not coolant. Oh, there we go. That's what it is. So that is a turbo resonator. Drippy wet and cracked. Something else suspicious going on here. You never want to see tools that close to the driver's reach. That's a tire tool. Why would a tire tool be right there in the driver's door where he's going to hear it every time he hits a bump? You don't leave stuff like that there. You know, signs, signs mean something. There's a lug nut missing, lug bolt missing right there. Signs, signs everywhere, signs. We want to drive it with one lug bolt missing? I will, yeah. I ain't scared. Looks like one's been replaced over here. Two have been replaced there. And probably two have been replaced here. So why are they replacing lug bolts and missing one? That's weird. Extra power jacks. What is that? Track vision. Protected by Great Dane. Track vision, so it has satellite on the roof. Satellite radio and satellite television. Got a little bit of rust in there. Oh, a little bit of rust in there. Satellite television on the roof. Roof seams look pristine. Got a little rust there, a little rust there. That antenna looks like it's leaking. Mystery buttons here, rear fan, three clicks plus off, whatever this was, probably rear AC. Oh, that button feels broken too. Yeah, not just the plate, but that knob is broken. Mystery switches without any identifier. Gotta have something to do with the rear AC. So this rear seat does lay down flat. Controls forward are here and up there. So you can get at it from front or back to lay it down. So I got cursor. That came on with the door open. Looks like the blinds all still work, which is kind of remarkable for a van this age. Let's do the code reading. I'll plug in the Autel. The dongle automatically wants to connect, so I hit allow on that, and we go into diagnostics. Ben's sprinter. Turn the key on. Good. Manual selection, sprinter.
It's a T1N, so we want it 901.6, 902.6, the second line, USA, OBD port, control unit, engine control module. And if your engine light is on, this is, this is the module that would be the reason for that. We don't have an engine light on here, so we don't expect any codes to be current. Take some time. Sure it's focusing on. Yeah. All right, I'm going to read codes. Charge pressure control. Hmm. Like a correct turbo resonator would do. It's a stored code, not a current code. Escape. And we're not going to erase that code because it's not our van. Escape. Escape. Going to auto scan the whole works here. And that's going to take a few minutes. B boost code on the common rail on the engine, which we know about. That's the turbo resonator. Audio system codes we're not too worried about. Electronic selector module. That's the shifter right here. Those have codes in them on almost all the vans, so we're not going to worry about that. And a code on the boost heater, which again, those almost never work, so we're not going to worry about that. No codes to worry about. Let's take it for a drive. Seats are real comfortable. <laughs> and fixing that correct turbo resonator might do something for that peppiness too. Transmission fluid is reddish in color, so I don't think it's original. Usually, they believe they had amber transmission fluid in them, so it means it has been serviced and it looks pretty good. So that's good. up and running the oil looks a little better it's not as black as it was before and it's at a good level looking at it on the towel there it's black but it's not horrible can't ask for any better than that Not awesome. I see a lot of water intrusion. If you like our content here at Florida Van Man, you can support us by liking, commenting, subscribing, and ringing the notification bell so that you get a notification every time we post a new video. In the description box of all of our videos, we also have links to our favorite products as well as links so that you can get your very own Florida Van Man merch. Your support keeps our vans rolling. not want to be the guy who has to take these injectors out it's not going to be a fun job they're all going to be stuck the van has a few imperfections what 17 year old van doesn't the tires are old the turbo resonator is cracked 
and the rear bumper needs a little bit of attention. All pretty minor things on such a beautiful van with almost no rust, low miles, and a well-kept interior. It's getting the Florida Van Man stamp of approval and finding a new home today.